Hi everyone, today's headlines. 67 DNLM militants surrender in Assam deposit large cache of arms. Nagaland shooting. ENSF submits three-point memorandum to Prime Minister. One killed and six injured in Lundiana District Court complex blast. Tenders five-fold strategy to tackle Omicron. Encounter breaks out between terrorists and security forces in Anantyanak. News in details. 67 DNLM militants surrender in Assam deposit large cache of arms. A total of 67 cadres of the banned Dimasa National Liberation Army militant outfit surrendered to the Assam government on Thursday and deposited a large cache of arms and ammunition, officials said. The DNLA militants laid down their arms and ammunition before Additional Director General of Police, Special Branch Hiran Nath and Kirby Anglong Autonomous District Council Chief Executive Member Tuliram Rongkang during a ceremony held at Dansiripur in Kirby Anglong District. Nagaland Shooting ENSF submits three-point memorandum to Prime Minister. The Eastern Naga Students Federation on Thursday submitted a three-point memorandum to Prime Minister Narendra Modi in connection with the December 4 and 5th incidents at Oting village and Mon Town. The memorandum called for the Prime Minister immediate intervention and necessary action in delivery of justice for the 14 civilians who were killed in two incidents. In the memo, the ENSF stated that the daily wage earners from Oting village were on their way home from the coal mine area in a pickup truck when the Indian security forces without any signal patently fired upon the vehicle. The manner in which those incident laborers were targeted is well pre-planned by the security forces and massacred in the juice of the Dacronian law. The Armed Forces Special Power Act 1958, the memo stated, One killed and six injured in Lundiana District Court Complex blast. A bomb went off in the district court complex here on Thursday, killing one person and injuring six others, prompting the Punjab government to declare a high alert in the state. Police suspect that the man killed in the blast in the second floor bathroom was trying to set off the explosive device or may even have been suicide bomber. As forensic team and specialized agencies were being summoned to the blast site, Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani expressed apprehension that the explosion might have been an attempt to create anarchy in the pole bound state. The Union Home Ministry has sought a detailed report from the state government as early as possible. It also wanted to be informed about the finding of the initial investigations. Sender's five-fold strategy to tackle Omicron. Sender on Thursday advised state and UT to not let their guard down and maintain their preparedness in fight against COVID pandemic and to follow five-fold strategy in view of the new variant Omicron. The state have been asked to put in place the local containment measures by the district and local administration when either the test positivity increases beyond 10% of or occupancy of oxygenated beds increases beyond 40%. Based on the local situation and population characterized such as density and others and keeping in mind the higher transmissibility of Omicron, states and UT can undertake containment measures and impose restriction even before these thresholds are reached, the health minister has said. Terrorists killed in encounter with security forces in Anantanak. Terrorists has been killed after an encounter broke out between the terrorists and the security forces at Mumenhal locality of the Arbani area in Jammu and Kashmir, Anantanak, the police said on Friday. The security forces has cordoned off the entire area and accurate search operation is currently underway. Encounter has started at Mumenhal area of Anantnak, police and security forces are on the job, Kashmir Zone Police earlier tweeted. Earlier on Wednesday, a civilian was shot dead by terrorists in the Eidgag area of Srinagar city. The civilian was taken to Sri Maharaja Hari Singh Hospital where he was declared dead, the Kashmir Zone Police had said. That's all for now. To get this data, just don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.